everyone, Rockley Touchy here, and boy have I got a treat for you. Yes, we are going to be unboxing an Ichiban Kuji figure, and not just any Ichiban Kuji. This is the Nami Yukata version from One Piece. This is a figure that uh, I can already tell looks absolutely stunning, and I'm very, very excited to be unboxing her. And the only reason why I am is because Bluzika sent it to me for my birthday. So thank you, Bluzika. You know what I like. So... Let's look into the box, and as you can see, there's a lot going on with the box, isn't there? We've got a few symbols going on here, a belly symbol up there. We've got a, the Nami symbol there as well for her tattoo that's on her arm. We've also got the Ichiban Kuji A down there as well, the One Piece logo. We've also got a, the anniversary thing going on as well, where we've got all the characters that are all in different sort of Edo-style clothing, or even Meiji-era clothing, one or the other. Either way, they look absolutely amazing. So uh, what I will say about this though, is it almost looks like the old scroll paper as well, which I really like that, where you've got all sort of the worn effects going through it with the yellow and the brown, which I think really does set off the vibe to what kind of style era uh, she is meant to be dressed up from. It looks really, really cool. So I'm really liking this already. As we go to the side, this is where it looks really awesome. I'm loving like we've got like the kind of old style clouds in the background. I think that's meant to be sort of like the red sort of like looking like clouds. I think that looks really cool. We've got a window there as well. There's a straw hat logo, a little bit of writing as well. But look at that illustration down there. That is just beautiful. It really is. I'm absolutely loving that. And I think that is definitely... Uh, well, it, it blew my mind when I first saw it, uh, and I, I generally feel the same way now. I'd love to have a painting of that on my wall. She looks absolutely stunning. It, in fact, it doesn't look like Nami. That's the really weird thing. But it is just a really beautiful illustration, and I love the fact there's like a frog there as well, sort of randomly. It's a very beautiful, sensual illustration, and I'm really, really loving it. As we go to the back, so I'm not going to completely gush over the illustration <laughs> because we are here with the figure, but yeah, as literally, I do really love that illustration. I'm sure you guys do as well. As we go to the back, I'm going to hold on to the turntable because it's, uh, it's trying to do its own thing again. Uh, you can see here we've got the information about the figure, but we've also got uh, a full view of everybody in these outfits. And my God, they look absolutely amazing. And I would very, very much like to collect them all because... Luffy looks pretty badass, Robin looks absolutely beautiful, Usopp looks really cool, Zoro looks badass as well. I mean, they all look fantastic, and I really do think that uh, all of them together would just look absolutely awesome. They really would. Uh, of course, we've still got the continuation of that old-style paper going on as well in the background. There's like, a few little bits of writing here and there. I think it's meant to be like a world map by the looks of things. It kind of looks like that. There's a little windmill in the background as well. It's a really, really cool box, this. As we go to the side here, same as we had on the other side, except this time we've got Nami's actual symbol as well here. Uh, her actual Jolly Roger symbol looks really, really awesome. And of course, we've got the window there as well. And as we go to the top here, we've just got the logo, the Ichiban Kuji A, and obviously our all-important Toei sticker as well. As we go down to the bottom, just a continuation of the theme of the box. Really nice box, this top-notch stuff, man, presto. Hopefully, the figure is going to be just as good as the box. And looking in there already, I can tell this is going to be one that's going to be definitely highly sought after. Well, I could be right. This could be a very highly sought after figure of Nami. Hopefully, it's not too dark in here and you guys can see everything. Um, there will be some pictures at the end, which... Uh, will hopefully be better lighting. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a, I've got to say, she is absolutely amazing. She really is. Um, I'm really, really liking what Banpresso have done here. Before we go into that close-up, I just want to talk about this backdrop here. How nice is this? I mean, it's, it's simple, but it really does go with the figure really, really well. And I think it's going to look really cool with some photos as well, which is uh, hopefully I can do. It's getting brighter in here now, which is good. Come on, son. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's, let's go in for a close-up. So bring that camera in here a little bit. I'm going to bring her a bit closer. Um, I don't know if I will lift her or not. We'll see how we get on. But 
I will tell you that she is literally, and I'm not being funny, in one piece. Uh, she's connected to the base, so you haven't got to put her in the base yourself. Uh, she is just one whole figure. You just take her out, and that's it. You can put her on the shelf. No setting up. Uh, job done, which I really, really like. So I will actually pick her up. But she is actually quite heavy. I will tell you that. So it's, uh, I'm going to have to bring the camera back a little bit so I can just hold it, hold her steady. Hopefully I can, ooh, it's going to be interesting now trying to get to zoom in. So, okay, let's talk about the positives and negatives. So I'm going to start off this time with the negatives. And unfortunately, there are quite a lot of negatives with this figure, despite the fact that she's an Ichiban Kuji. Now, there is painting issues. There's also blemishes as well, uh, which I have spotted, which I'm a little bit disappointed with, like down here, for example, which I don't know if you can see that on the little uh, sash there, but there is this massive bit of chip down here, which is a, a shame. Also, as we sort of look at the legs here as well, they're not as good as they could be. And I feel like the quality is a little lackluster uh, on her, which is a, a shame because she is absolutely ravishing to look at. But I do feel like she might have just slipped by on a few quality issues. That's mainly what the issues are though. They are just paint blemishes. They are little bits of like bumpiness as well that I've spotted here and there of like the plastic but otherwise I will say she is absolutely stunning and to positives okay hair ornament here this is painted really really nicely if I can just hold her and I'll do is grab grab this and just try and zoom in so you guys can see that really painted nicely loving the little leaves here as well here as you can see the tattoo done really nicely as well you know the uh, the bow here it's a little bit strange that it's sort of yellow to white, but it actually works quite nicely. And I'm loving all the petals as well on the Yukata as well, sort of the pink petals and the little leaves as well. I think that's really nicely done. As you can see, her sash at the back here as well looks really, really beautiful. I think she's generally a beautiful figure. And let's talk about the base as well here. You know, it's it's a plain base, but they've done something a little bit extra. You know, they've got sort of this clear see-through effect going on with the plastic i like that it's a pretty big base as you can see for her so she is going to take up quite a bit of room because the yukata does actually drape onto the floor which i might and has also got wrinkles down here as well to show sort of the clothing effect there is a massive seam line though going right the way up here uh which i don't know if that's meant to be like that or not if that's meant to be like for the yukata or not but uh Basically, she is definitely a very, very beautiful figure. So I'll just pop her back on here. And you can see, like, with this, it just sets the scene nicely, doesn't it? I love the fact that this box is like this with her. I have to hold her in place, I think, because she's going to keep moving. Because of this turntable. This turntable has got a thing about moving. I'm trying to get her to look at the camera. There we go. Uh, so hopefully, uh, it's bright enough in here for you guys to see, because it doesn't seem to be very bright in here at the moment. Um... I mean, if I just chuck the light on, yes, oh, without knocking the camera, which didn't go well, uh, you see what I mean when I put the light on, it does brighten her up, but the only issue there is that uh, it sort of makes her skin look very, very bright white as well, which uh, it isn't, but she is an absolutely beautiful figure, and I recommend her, definitely. If you're a One Piece fan, you're going to love her. If you're a Nami fan, then obviously you're going to love her. She is very, very gorgeous, and she certainly is a standout figure as well. Very eye-catching, very eye-catching indeed. So, yeah, I don't think there is any much more I can say really about her, except for the fact that uh, go out and buy her if you are an Ami fan. And I will be back with some more figure unboxing very, very soon. Um, really loving it at the moment, and uh, yeah, just got quite a lot to go through. There will be some special weeks coming up, so I'll let you guys know about that when it's going to happen. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon for some more figure unboxing. Let me know what you think of Nami in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Sayonara.